All right, so I'm going to pick up where I left off in the first installment. This was on uh, Newsbreak. All right, so it's on Washington Post uh, thread. All right, it says here is entitled Russia is preparing to supply Iran with an advanced satellite system that will boost Iran's ability to surveil military targets, officials say. It says Russia is preparing to supply Iran with an advanced satellite system that will give Tehran an unprecedented ability to track potential military targets across the Middle East and beyond, according to current and former U.S. and Middle Eastern officials briefed on details of the arrangement. Now, jumping down to the part to the to the main uh, part here, I want to bring out. All right, so it says. Uh, all right, it says independent experts and, anal and uh, analysis say. Iran's new spying capabilities would be especially worrying given Tehran's recent advances in missile guidance systems. Iran is producing an array of ballistic missiles and drones that are able to strike distant targets with precision. And that's, that's prophesied in 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, around the 7th verse, where it says, uh, around the 8th verse, where it says how the, the archers would shoot the arrows and not miss. And those archers, all right, is parabolically referring to these nations, these heated nations and their armies. They're going to shoot these, these modern day arrows, these, these, uh, these ICBM missiles, man, upon America, all right, and, and, and destroy this place, man, within, within the array of these arrows, pursuing a Jeremiah 15, 14. So it says, and uh, access to improved satellite imagery could make them even more effective, some say. So they'll be able to, you know, further integrate these these uh, technological spying systems to for the, for the purpose of what? Spying on our enemies, ironically, uh, what was being done against them, you know? I further go into the prophecy where it says, let the weak say I'm strong because the other nations have the wherewithal uh, to do the same thing that's been done against, uh, upon them or against them uh, on their main adversary, their mutual adversary, which is Esau Edom, okay, the red dragon who's created to move peace from the earth, man, okay, all right, and, and, and his main headquarters of wickedness, all right, the whore that sits upon many waters, preceding Revelation 7 chapter, so this is this is major news, Revelation 17 chapter, rather, so hey, man, so we're, we're at the end of this thing, so I'm going to end, uh, get 2nd Ezra 16 and 7. May one turn and gain the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. The mighty Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shai, sent it the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? See that? Can nobody drive these arrows away? They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna hit the targets. Let's see if I can find that uh here it is. Here's the point, verse 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. That was, that was that's that's, that was uh, what was essentially read in that, uh, that uh, Russian satellite, that Russian satellite article, you know what I'm saying, uh, dealing with uh, Russia and uh, Iran's uh, alliance uh, strengthening within uh, uh, the satellite systems, uh, uh, you know, being offered on behalf of Russia to Iran, where I mentioned how Iran has missiles that can hit with precision. It's prophesied here. Second Edge 16 and 13, for strong as his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon earth. They're not going to, you know, because this is going to be the last time that this, this world uh, witnesses that, that and, you know, witnesses and experience that, that magnitude of such devastation and, 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 and detrimental destruction, man. Okay. All right. Because that's going to cause this earth to shake to and fro. We're soon Isaiah, the 24th chapter. All right. Within the, within the uh, midst of the Ahamar God one. This last world's war, World War Three, prophesied in Revelation 11 and 18. Okay, so I'm going to end this off in uh, Jeremiah, in this case, Revelation chapter 18, continuing verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning, and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for the strong is the Lord Yahweh, by Shema Shai, who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication have lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. And these nations are going to be lamented for her burning, not because they're going to be sorrowful for America's destruction, but rather they're, not, they're no longer going to be able to uh, enjoy the delicacies of this whore, America, Babylon, the Great, through international trade and whatnot within these global markets, okay, within these docking points of international trade. That's why in Revelation 18 and 12, when you look up the word uh, merchandise in the Greek, is gomos. Which means merchandising, okay? Because merchandising is is is, uh, is 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 fulfilled through international trade, all right, on behalf of these uh, nations, man. And that's no that's that's gonna that's gonna cease. So that's why they're gonna lament for her burning, because this place is gonna be done, and we're within that time. All right, Revelation 18 and 10. A standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, "Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, 
for one hour is thy judgment come. So America is going to be destroyed in one hour. Babylon the Great will be destroyed in just one hour. Hence, these ICBM missiles can travel from one continent to another. All right, because they fulfill, they they try to fulfill this prophecy. And China and Iran, ironically, along with their allies, are going and and the 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 the, the allies of uh, uh, some allies of America's uh, 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 Edomite Confederacy. Okay, the beast. All right, dealing with the uh, uh, NATO and the EU are going to. Uh, uh, Contributing to this great destruction of this horror that sits upon many waters, man, in which that hammer will be made cut asunder and will no longer uh, hammer upon these nations, man, and inflict any more harm on this earth. Because peace is getting ready to be reintroduced uh, through the further manifestation of this gospel when Yahweh Shai uh, returns back to this realm to rule over this earth with his saints. All right, so I'm going to end it off there. Auto and Rathus Athus, Fred Edifying, is what until elect may come across these installments. And with that, all right, uh, Shalom, shalom, shalom to the elect. Shabbat Yashad Dawada, the house of David. All right. Uh, all right. Kwam Yash Allah, arise Israel. Abad Babal, DTA. Once again, Kwam Yash Allah, shalom to the elect. On to the next one.